Yo, what's good everybody? It's boy Ed here and welcome back to the experience. And for this video, guys, I have a very special sneaker as you can see right here. We haven't revealed it yet. But by the title below, you guys already know what it is. And to me, this is definitely one of the best Nike SB Dunks to drop this year. And also, I think this is a big piece of history. And unfortunately, guys, I did have these sneakers for over a month now, so I'm very sorry for the delay, but there's a lot of energy and a lot of details that went into this sneaker, so I had to make sure I do my research appropriately so I give you guys the best context for this shoe. So before we get into it, guys, let's do some housekeeping. So make sure you smash that like button, and if you guys seen anything that you like throughout the video, or if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. And just getting right into it, y'all, we have the Nike SB Dunk Low P-Rods, and the colorway shown on the tag is Sport Red, Black Varsity Maze, Rogue Sport, Mize Varsity, and Noir, with a suggested retail of $150, which that's what I paid, and my personal size and dunk, size eight and a half. All right, y'all, so this shoe right here is very special because it covers over 10 years worth of Paul Rodriguez sneakers between him and his Nike collaboration. So if you guys don't know, P-Rod is actually a major skateboarder, a professional skateboarder, who was sponsored by Nike back in the day. And throughout his tenure with Nike, he's won gold medals in the Olympics, silver and bronze, and he's done a lot for the SB or skateboarding community. So this is definitely a really special shoe for skaters and for Paul Rodriguez himself, just to show his tenure within the company. And this shoe really covers a lot of those sneakers. So let's just get right into it. One thing that I have to criticize first though is that they didn't do a special box. I know they said that was to kind of make everything on like a level playing field or whatever, but to me that didn't make sense. You've done multiple special box collaborations with non-crazy like skateboarding brands or nothing like that. So for me, P-Rod definitely should have got a special box for his 10 year sneaker. Like this is a really special shoe. And the fact that it's a what the sneaker, which is really crazy for a skateboarder to even have, because when you think about what the, you think of the Jordan 4s, you think about Kobe collaborations, think about LeBron collaborations, you think about the big basketball player collaborations, but for a skateboarder to actually have a what the collaboration, that is really awesome. So I think Nike missed that opportunity by not giving P-Rod a special box, which could have covered his 10 years of sneakers around the box. Like that's not too hard to make in my opinion. And I think they fumbled that. But other than that, I'm really in love with the shoes and let's just get right into it. When we open the box right here, we have this kind of weatherman tissue paper, as you guys can see. And then once we remove the tissue paper, we have the beautiful right shoe right here. Now look at just how beautiful and detailed that shoe is, guys. So I'm gonna give it a nice little spin around real quick. And then when we get into the left shoe now, since this is a what the design, we have a different color combination as well as details right here. So look at the left shoe right here. Very beautifully crafted and detailed sneaker, guys. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna give the edge to the right shoe due to the fact that it has more blue in it. And if you guys know me, I love the color blue. So I'm gonna say that this sneaker is the better side. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this is gonna be an extremely detailed review. And with that, I'm gonna start right here. And just to get into which I'm gonna start off with the lateral side first. So for the first detail right here, we have this elephant print, and this is not by chance that it has that elephant print right there. Obviously, if you guys are into sneakers, you obviously know this stems from the Black Cement 3, but what's really interesting about this shoe is that it was actually taken and put onto the black and gray haze colorway of the Nike SV P Rod 2 colorway. Next on this quarter panel right here, we have this suede nubuck material with the circular stitching around it. And this is actually inspired by the gray new buck colorway of the J-Rods that was made by Tinker Hatfield himself. Next on the Nike check right here, we have this black leather Nike check. And this is taken from the Nike SB P-Rod 2's hat rods, which by the name, you can obviously tell it was made by Tinker Hatfield as well. Then this white leather that you guys can see right here is actually taken from the Nike SB Dunk boxing glove or the Nike SB Dunk Mexico. That was obviously a dunk that was inspired by P-Rod himself since he has Mexican heritage. So that's what this is taken from. Next, when we go into the back heel area now, we have this kind of black box stitched pattern. And this is actually made to resemble carbon fiber itself. And you can also find this on the Nike SB P-Rod 2 hat rods. Now, when we go into the heel tab, as you guys can see here, we have this rainbow colorway as well as P-Rod signature right there. And this was actually taken from the Nike SB2 P-Rods Hiroshi Fujiaras, also known as the Fuji Rods. 
Now going on to the medial side now, we have this burgundy quarter panel right here with this kind of outlines Nike check as well as the small Nike check. And this is actually inspired from the Nike SB P-Rod 10 Team Red colorway. Then we have this eyelet right here and it's actually 3M. I know it just looks silver on the camera, but it's actually 3M when you put the flashlight on it. And this was actually made for the primitive collab for the Nike SB P-Rod 7 highs. Now, when we go onto this brown suede with this beautiful graphic on it, look how detailed that is, y'all. It's so damn beautiful. But this was actually taken from the heel of the Nike SB P-Rod 7 low in the black and medium brown colorway. Now, going into the front of the shoe right here, which is my favorite part about the whole entire collaboration, we have these beautiful details as you guys can see right here. So starting off with the toe box, this toe box is actually inspired by the P-Rod 1 Mexican blanket. And then on the mud guard right here, we have this black leather with white embroidery on it, which is inspired by the Nike P-Rod 2 High Bow, which is named after the late Sandy Bowdecker, who was pivotal for the creation of Nike SB itself. So because of Sandy Bowdecker, God rest his soul, Nike SB is what it is today. So now moving to the top of the shoe now, as you guys can see, we have this lace charm right here. And this is actually taken from the Nike SB Dunk High Boxing Glove. Next, we have these yellow fat laces right here. And then we have the black nylon standard dunk tongue. But we also have P-Rod's signature on this tag right here. And this is actually taken from the Nike SB P-Rod 6. Now, when you go into the ankle collar area, as you guys can see right here, we actually have this kind of true blue colorway in a quilted pattern. And this is actually really good for comfort. And this is also seen on the Nike SB P-Rod 2s in the white cement and true blue colorway. Also, what's really interesting about this shoe is that it comes with extra volt laces and then a mismatched pair of yellow and red laces. Then when you go into the insoles right here, we have this kind of volt colorway. And this insole is actually inspired by the P-Rod 5 black and volt colorway. And then finally, to conclude the right shoe, we have the midsole and outsole. So both the midsole and outsole are actually from the same shoe collaboration. And this is from the Nike SB P-Rod Hemp. So we have this kind of brownish midsole. And then on the outsole, we have that kind of gum bottom, which I know a lot of people love. Then we have our natural herringbone traction right here, which is beautiful as always. And then we have our Nike SB right here. Now going on to the left shoe now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna like this side. We have a lot going on, so let's just get right into the details. So starting off with the lateral side, I'll start with this multicolored patent leather Nike check, as you guys can see here. This was actually taken from the Nike SB P-Rod 2 PlayStation colorway. Then in this quarter panel right here, we kind of have this woven hemp material, and this is inspired by the Nike SB P-Rod hemp colorway. Then when we look at this black safari print right here, which is really, really, really beautiful, this is actually inspired by the bread colorway on the Nike SB P-Rod 3. So then when we look at this beautiful green suede Nike tab right here, this is actually inspired by the Nike P-Rod 1 single de Mayo's. Then when we look at these black eyelets right here, this is actually inspired by the Nike P-Rod 8. Now going on to the medial side right here, I'm gonna start with the eyelets. So as you guys can see, we have this brown and twill material eyelet right here. And this is actually inspired by the Nike P-Rod 2 highs in the brown and dark oak colorways. Next, when we go into the quarter panel right here, we have this snakeskin material. And although this is giving me a lot of Black Mamba vibes, this was actually inspired by the Nike P-Rod 1 Mexican blanket. Next over that, we have this suede yellow Nike check, and it is really beautiful, man. Then finally going onto this white quilted leather, we actually have P-Rod's initials on there. Just look at the detail right there. We have the P and the R, it's so beautiful. And this is actually taken from the white and black colorway of the Nike SB P-Rod ones. Now going into the front of the shoe, I'm gonna start off with the toe box and mud guard. So this beautiful brown new buck toe box and black graphic on it is actually inspired by the Elite Stash Nike SB P-Rod ones. Then surrounding it, we obviously know what this is. This is the beautiful elephant print from the Black Cement 3s, as well as the Nike SB P-Rod 2s. Then when we look at this metallic charm right here, this is actually taken from the Nike P-Rod Delta Force SBs. And then we have our standard red laces with this kind of nylon mesh tongue in the white colorway. And this tag on the tongue right here is actually taken from the Nike P-Rod 10s. 
So next when we go into the ankle collar area, we have this kind of red quilted material, which is the exact opposite of the blue quilted material on the right shoe. And this is actually taken from the white and red P-Rod twos. Next when we take out the insole of this shoe, this insole is actually inspired by the Nike P-Rod fours. And guys, if I didn't mention this before, this is the Zoom airbag that all the Nike SB Dunks comes with. And then finally concluding this shoe right here, we have the midsole and outsole. And this midsole and outsole is inspired by the Nike SB Dunk High boxing gloves. And as you guys can see, we have the Mexico colorway right here and the herringbone traction, as well as the Nike SB right here in the middle. All right, child, this is gonna conclude the review of this beautiful set of shoes. And I'm really happy that I was able to actually get my hands on these for retail. So I gotta give a big shout out to Labor Skate Shop again. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate y'all so much. And definitely guys, like I said before, I'm gonna give the right shoe an edge out of the two, but they're both well-crafted shoes and i'm really excited that i was able to get them for retail and give you guys this review so other than that y'all stay tuned because i'm going to give y'all a nice awful look all right Child, so that's gonna conclude the review as well as the on for look but before i conclude i have to give a huge shout out to p-rod because for him to have a what the sneaker is insane to me because off the top of my head i can only think of three athletes and they are like some of the best to ever live michael jordan kobe bryant lebron james those are the only people i could think of that are athletes that got the what the sneaker so for a skateboarder to actually be put into that same conversation as them is an amazing feat. So I have to give a huge shout out to you. I'm happy for you, P-Rod. And it's just crazy to see how in 15 years, because I used to watch the Rob Deerdeck Fantasy Factory, and that's actually how I got put on to P-Rod's existence. So that's so insane from him being on the Fantasy Factory, just skating around in the park, to now having his own What The Sneakers. It's amazing, like it's crazy to see how 10 years or 10 models worth of sneakers were actually able to be put onto a Nike SB Dunk like this and have a special release like that. This this is just crazy to me, man. And like I said before, I'm really happy for you, P-Rod. So that's just my take on it. But other than that, y'all, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends and your family. Make sure to smash that like button. And if you see anything that you like throughout this video, or if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe down below or hit that notification bell. And other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.